So let's begin with how we deal with the propagation of variances for a single derived quantity when there is a linear relationship between the, uh, the quantity we're calculating and our variables or measurements. So let's start uh, by considering that we have two normal random variables that are correlated. Now, just before we go any further, just remember that a normal random variable in surveying and geospatial science is simply a measurement in most cases. So for each of our measurements, uh, that measurement has a uh, mean or true value. and some precision associated with it, which we quantify with a standard deviation. And from that standard deviation, we can calculate another measure of precision known as the variance. It's just the standard deviation squared. So we have two of these normal random variables, x1 and x2. And initially, we'll start out by assuming that the two random variables, x1 and x2, are correlated. So this term here is the covariance term. And that's how we quantify correlation between our two measurements. And we can take that information on the variances and the covariances and turn it into a variance covariance matrix, which we represent by the X. You'll notice that this matrix is symmetric. And the terms down the diagonal are positive and will always be positive. So that's the information we're starting with about our two measurements or normal random variables. Now, if we were to calculate some quantity here, y, based on a linear relationship of those two measurements, we would express it like this. or in matrix form like this. Now, if we are able to express our derived quantity Y in such a way, then the rule for propagation of variances states that the variance covariance matrix of the derived quantity Y, that's over here on the left, can be formed from the variance covariance matrix of the measurements, that's in here, via this formula. This is the general rule for the propagation of variances, 5.1. Now, since we only have one quantity, y, uh, the variance covariance matrix of Y is a one by one matrix. And that simply is the variance of Y. So this is a one by one matrix.
Now if we were to expand out this general rule, we would get an expression for the variance covariance matrix of Y being just the variance of Y. Uh, we could expand out those substitute in our matrices and expand them and work out a relationship for the variance of Y that looks something like this. Now, of course, we know that the covariance of measurement one with measurement two is the same as the covariance of measurement two with measurement one, which is why we get this uh, 2A1, A2 sigma variant covariance here. Now, if we were actually dealing with uncorrelated measurements, so X1 is not correlated with X2, uh, which happens quite a lot in surveying applications, then it would be the case that the measurements are independent and that covariance term would be zero which means that this part of our equation 5.2 here is in fact zero. And we end up with an even simpler expression for the variance of our single derived quantity Y. And that's equation 5.3 here. So this is the shortcut formula, if you like, for uncorrelated measurements to determine the variance of the derived quantity y. And of course, you can then take this and work out the standard deviation of y by taking the square root of the variance value. And that's how we would use the propagation of variances general rule to work out the variance and therefore standard deviation of our single drive quantity Y.